Well, tonight, former President Jimmy Carter remains at his home in Georgia receiving hospice care. And many people sharing their warm memories of him tonight. WJZ is live in Plains, Georgia tonight. Mike Halgren with the latest as the world prepares to say goodbye now to our 39th president. Mike, good evening. Good evening, Ricky, Rick and Nikki. Uh, people say that Carter was extraordinarily humble, and they remember those small gestures that he made toward them. They say they made those made him feel uh, them feel so much more at home with him. And we talked to one woman today who says she remembers so much the impact that he made on her. At Bonita Hightower's cozy restaurant near downtown Plains. Two of the regulars are also the town's most famous residents. He wants catfish. He likes he fried catfish. catfish? Yeah, he likes fried. Miss Rosalind likes the bait. Jimmy Carter and his wife Rosalind live just a mile away and would often have lunch delivered. Who would ever think this young lady, me, growing up in upstate New York, would land in planes and serving the president? Of our United States. Hightower has been reflecting on one of her best catfish customers now that the 98 year old former president is receiving hospice care. I just said this a life well lived. The small downtown here in Plains, Georgia is getting ready for the national spotlight. Main Street is temporarily closed for a sprucing up as the community prepares to say goodbye to its world famous resident. I'm just thankful that we, I got to know him and be here for him. Nell Ariel has enjoyed 40 years of friendship with the Carters. One of her treasured memories, joining them in Oslo, where the former president was awarded the Nobel Peace Prize. We were standing in the, our balcony up to their right, and it was just so impressive. Ariel's husband was the Carters' pastor, and the two couples traveled together for Habitat for Humanity, where they saw the 39th president's work ethic in action. He does not want to be distracted. He's the first one to work, the last one to quit. She says she's hoping he feels peaceful and wants the world to see him the way she does, as a good man. Now, Carter remains surrounded by family and friends at the home he built just down the road here in 1961. The only time he's lived anywhere else was when he was in the White House for those four years. Live in Plains, Georgia, Mike Helgren, WJZ.